tampon. 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 Tampion. Tam. Tam. Tampon. Right. Interesting. Is that lunch? Excuse me. It's a bit quick this time. Oh no. To be honest, that's not always good if you're too quick, is it? Sorry, I. Last time you did forget the bacon. I mean, it is like BLT. Oh no, Jenny. sorry. I, I'm here for the job interview. The the double seven person. You? Yeah, I sent in my application. That was you. I'm Alex. You Al You're Alex. You bit misleading. Uh, excuse me? Nothing. Alex, love, have a seat, please. Make yourself at home. A uh, chair right in front of me, right here, for you. And, um, it's okay. This isn't a big deal. We're just gonna have a bit of a chat, get to know each other a little bit, and, um, see what happens. Let's see, Alex, Alex, Alex. Is that short for Alexander? Uh, no, just, just Alex. So, Alexandra. How can I help you today? I have the... All oh, right, yes, sorry. <laughs> the job interview, right? Let's have a look at your resume. Have a little cheeky look, thank you. Looking pretty good so far. Oh, <laughs> there it is, the Alex, not Alexander Keaton. That's good. <laughs> Quick question, I was like, the use of she and her. Now, <laughs> Is that a typo on your resume? Oh, no, no, I'm, I'm being specific for my pronouns. Oh, absolutely not a problem, honestly. Um, I mean, you obviously, you, I mean, you look, <laughs> you look like a girl, woman. It's great and it's, everything is, you know. You're here for the 007 position, yes? What kind of skills in the field do you have that might, you know, fit? Well, uh, as listed on my resume, I have over 10 years of specialized experience in the field. Uh, I'm proficient in 15 languages, including uh, Korean, French, Pashto. Right, but I mean, ammunition training. Yes, ace with top distinction. Can you fire a pistol? I'm familiar with most. Uh, Beretta 418, Walther PPK. Listen, there's no need to get bogged down in semantics of names of guns and stuff. Um, it can be quite a frightful experience, mind you. Especially for those people that, to put it simply, that have very delicate sensitivities. It shouldn't be a problem. Right, okay. Uh, bang, bang. Pew, pew. Moving on. The job requires a high level of emotional discipline. Yes, I understand. Um, I consider that one of my many strengths, including mental agility, critical thinking. Right, yeah, but here's a hypothetical, yeah? Follow me with this one. You're in the middle of an interrogation. A hypothetical, so not real. It's with a KJB, no less. Big dogs. It's a high stake, a life and death situation. It just so happens to coincide with that time of the month for you. How would you handle that? It shouldn't be a problem. Now that, that is a lovely smile. It makes you feel a little less edgy and a little bit more approachable. Which actually kind of brings me on to my next point with that. When you're undercover, so like no one knows what you're doing or who you are, which you are, probably have a different name or whatnot, um, you'll need to use your skills and assets, if you will, to extract information from our enemies. How do you mean? There may be or may not be encounters of the uh, sexual natural. I see. Uh, we've worked out tried and tested techniques that, you know, will help you handle such encounters. Our enemies seem to respond quite well with that approach, mind you. It's an effective way to bring them down to their knees or bringing you down to uh, your knees, if that makes more sense. But remember, always to make them feel like they have the power in the dynamic. So you want me to make them think that they have the power, but they really don't? Exactly, but they actually do. Yeah, every time. Yeah. Aside from that, you may also find yourself kissing another woman, or two, 
three or... Okay. It's just like, you know, your standard lesbian stuff. Like, I mean, we're not really into the homosexual thing, but uh, sometimes you might have to find yourself to be able to kiss, again, a woman or doing other things, whatever your country or queen needs you to do. You also have to be, obviously, if you're doing all that, very comfortable with nudity. <clears throat> so it's very useful for our investigations, again. So you are interested in homosexuality? <laughs> Me? No, honestly. Uh, why would you, why would you even, why would you, are you? Moving on then. All right. You'll need to have a keen eye for detail, like including like spatial awareness type things. I know this is a bit tough, but there's going to be times where you're going to have to um, like drive a car. Cool. Glad to hear that because I wasn't too sure how that would go down the driving thing. Finally, uh, probably most importantly for yourself is uh, maternity leave. We don't offer that, like at all. Basically what that means, because I don't think you're getting it, you're not gonna be a football mom with your minivan, driving to the football pitch, handing out oranges, and taking them to the, the pool. Do you understand that? Like, nothing. Not a problem, I'm not interested in having children. What, really, ever? Ever. But, <laughs> I mean, you've got a uterus. Would you have children if you had a uterus? Me, <laughs> no. Listen, love. I'm a courier man with the MI6. So you don't get a car that looks like that, just that looks like this. By having kids and being intertwined in family stuff. You know what? I think we're done here. I think, um, honestly, I've had a tremendous time. It's been fun, insightful, and you did quite well considering, you know, who you are and whatnot. So it's been absolutely smashing, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut it to you, I'm gonna give it to you straight, that I don't think you're quite qualified. Why not? Well, I think that's a bit easy, isn't it? Like, you did mislead us from the very get-go, didn't you? How so? Your name. But my name is... Alex, yes, you keep saying Alex this, Alex that. All that aside, right? It's just highly unlikely that you are going to get a job as a woman. And that's sexual discrimination. Well, I have no. all the requisite skills. Well, let's not blow things out of proportion, okay, Alex? It's... We don't want to be throwing things around, words and phrases that, you know, we'll, we'll regret later on, especially when you're trying to get a job and whatnot. As an example, not sexist, because I applied for the job and I got quite far, I mean, past this part, really somewhere up in the top, right? I did, I got up there. But you know, I, a male, like, I didn't get the job. But you have a dick. Yes, true, thank you. But I guess, <laughs> if you could believe it, uh, I got passed up because they said I didn't have Ah, uh, didn't quite have the balls. Anyway, I've had a fantastic time getting to know you a bit. Uh, I've really enjoyed getting to know you. I mean, if you don't have to leave right away, I wouldn't mind. Right, well, leave your CV with someone out at the front desk, and I'm sure someone will, um, I'm sure someone will get back to you at some yeah. point. Uh, is that lunch? Cheerio. Thank you.